Hello and welcome back. Today we'll be adding a cyber power rack mount ups or uninterruptible power supply to my server rack. The particular model we'll be adding is the OR700 LCD RM1U. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and jump right on it. Okay, so first things first, we're just gonna open this package up so we can see what it looks like. All right, pretty well packaged so far. So it's not too bad, it uh, goes into your standard outlet, which is uh, pretty essential for us because this is for home use. So the UPS itself is actually 1U, and uh, 1U is a standard server height, so this is 1U, and this is 19 inches in width. So on the back side of the power supply, we have four ports for battery and surge, and two ports for just surge. We also have your expansion port, two TIM100 Ethernet ports, USB 2.0, and serial, a reset button, and then a warning indicator light just over here. Also what's included is this little bag. And in here, uh, looks like we got some, some mounting screws and washers, which is nice to have. It comes with a mounting bracket, or two mounting brackets actually, that you screw onto the sides of the UPS. Uh, we have a serial cable that you would plug into the server if you have that ability. In this case we do. And this is a phone line jack. And then the USB 2.0 cable that's included. So your server can talk to the ups uh, so it can shut down properly if it needs to. To install the mounting bracket, you're gonna wanna make sure that this end is facing outwards so it can go on the server rack itself. So like I mentioned earlier, the uh, installation is pretty straightforward. Just simply line this up with the holes wherever you'd like. It looks like you can actually uh, mount this a little bit more forward if you prefer, uh, but I like to have mine lined up pretty evenly so it'll probably go on like this. So I'm just gonna screw in the remaining screws into the last four holes, and I'm gonna do this on both sides. Okay, so I've got my server brackets installed, so all I have to do is get these screwed in here, and that should uh, be able to hold the weight of the battery itself. And we're gonna mount this onto the bottom. Um, the primary reason why you'd wanna do this is so all the way to the bottom and it's not top heavy, and batteries tend to be really heavy, so it's just an added safety feature. Okay. So these are the old ones. These are 900 watt power supplies. Uh, this was actually originally intended for my gaming computer as well as my old media server, which then I eventually moved into one of my other servers. But I no longer need these because they're not rack mountable and they kind of look ugly sitting down here. So we're gonna get these out of the way and then we'll get the new 700 watt one in their place, or at least one of them. Okay, so now that those two old ones are out of the way, mounting this should be pretty straightforward forward just got to get it lined up and screw it in i hope that's going in okay those first screws didn't seem to fit so we're going to try these bigger ones and there we go and just for good measure i'm going to go ahead and try and squeeze one more on in here all right Nice and snug, that's not going anywhere. Seems to be supporting the weight really well. One very cool feature I wanna show you guys is you can actually remove these top two screws here and that will let you pull off this front panel to get access to the batteries that are in here uh, so you can hot swap them or change them in the future. Uh, just in case the batteries are dead or maybe damaged. And it should just pop right off. Okay. So that just pops pretty much right off. And now there's two more screws here and here that let you reveal. Oh wait, there's actually one more screw hidden in here. I didn't see that. And this reveals where the batteries are stored. Uh, so this is what the connection looked like. Uh, there looks like there's some zip ties in here and the batteries are on this tray that is also screwed down. Okay, so once you take this last screw out, there's a tray that you can actually pull out and I'm not gonna remove this all the way because I'd actually have to disconnect these cables and they look like they're on there pretty snug. Um, but the batteries are sitting here and here. And if you were to pull this tray all the way out uh, and disconnect these, of course, you'd have full access to that from the front of the panel, which is actually really neat. So I'm gonna go and screw everything back down because this is actually a little bit difficult uh, to remove uh, uh, from the factory, which isn't necessarily a problem. Uh, but it's not something you would probably want to do unless you fully intend on replacing these batteries. On the front here, we have the LCD panel, which will display various information about the ups and uh, have other icons and stuff uh, and other indicators uh, letting you know what's going on. 
On the front we have this little awesome plastic cover over the power switch and right below that is the LCD uh, selection button slash switch. Okay so we'll actually be removing this ups here and then plugging Unraid server that's plugged into this into the new ups and one of the reasons why I went with the servers that you've seen before is because they have redundant power supplies so I can literally unplug one power supply and plug it into the new ups and then once that one gets power I can unplug the other one and plug it in also into the new ups and uh, I will not have to turn the server at off uh, to make this transition. So uh, let's go ahead and see okay, what that looks like. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the uh, battery back up from the wall and you'll hear it beep. Now that it's removed, I'm gonna actually plug in the new one into the wall so it can get ready to take on the new All server. Right, now before we can actually transition the servers over, I actually have to turn this thing on. All right, and now that it's powered on, uh, just real quick, I'm gonna cycle through some of the options. So right now with nothing plugged in, this thing will run for 85 minutes. There's a 0% load and 100% battery. Uh, currently it is using 120 volts from the socket and that looks like about all the options that are available. So uh, let's go ahead and plug one of the power supplies uh, into this and see what happens. So I have about 63 minutes before this battery dies, which is actually really good. Um, but it's not gonna take that long to switch over the server to the new ups. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and take care of that. All right, right here are both of the plugs uh, for the server. So I'm just gonna take one out and plug it into the battery and surge protection on the new battery and just gonna double check to make sure that worked and it looked like it did. So this battery just jumped up to 114 minutes of life left. And now I'm gonna unplug the second one and pray that my server doesn't shut down. And it, and it shouldn't. Okay, and now the new, the Unraid server is plugged into the ups. So we should be good to go. Um, the mo There is a monitor actually plugged in right now, but it doesn't even use power. So we can just kick that away. And then of course, this is the data cable that I'll plug in um, to the new up so the server knows when it should shut down properly or not. All right, so let's get this thing out of the way. Oops, did not mean to do that. And I'm gonna turn it off. All right, you've served well, but it's time to get you uh, decommissioned. Okay, now that the new server's plugged into the ups, let's go ahead and see what options have changed on my uh, LCD panel. So right now it looks like I'm on a 26% load slash 27% load. I am still at 100% battery. Uh, still pulling 120 volts from the wall. And I have approximately 26 minutes of runtime if the battery were to go out. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this up from the wall. Uh, just to see what happens to the amount of runtime that will be available once it's unplugged. 12 minutes. Well, that's not very much at all. So that kind of sucks. All right, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. And we're back on power from the wall. So you can't actually mute this and to mute it, you just hold down the selection button and the mute icon appears and now it is muted. So that's pretty important. I know a lot of people don't like their ups to make noise, especially uh, when the power does go out. So a really important question is, is how loud is the ups? Well, with all my server equipment running, uh, usually the server equipment sits around 56 to 57 decibels. And with the ups added, it's about 57 to 58 decibels. And that's while the ups is plugged into the wall. When the ups isn't plugged into the wall or the power is out, the decibels change to about 59 to 60. So it's really not that loud. And the uh, increase in sound is actually due to what sounds like a fan that's running to keep the unit cool and not any sort of weird coil line or anything that I would say that's kind of annoying. In fact, the fans from the servers are much more loud than the ups is itself. So how well did the battery do? Well, the server is using about 120 ed watts and up to 144 watts, depending on what kind of load it's running. Uh, in my test case scenario, what I did is I unplugged the battery from the wall and I just did some simple stuff like file transfers and maybe running a couple of VMs just to see what would happen. 
and the server calculated that I would have about 20 minutes of runtime on the battery, while the upset it would have about 18 minutes. And then after it ran a little while, both seemed to concur on one time, and that was about 17 minutes of runtime on battery. So I let it run to see what would happen. Well, the Unraid server shut itself down at about five minute mark, and that's what I have it set to. And the battery just kept on running for another five minutes, which gave me about 18 minutes. So it was pretty accurate from what the upset it had left, and according to what Unraid said it had as well. So at the end of the day, is the Cyber Power Rack Mount Ups worth it? Well, it depends on your use case. In my particular case, and in the words of my girlfriend, it just doesn't last long enough. To which I would respond, well, it wasn't designed for endurance. It was designed to last five to 10 minutes to allow you enough time to save your work and shut down for the night. To which she would respond, well, my old battery backup lasts 30 to 40 minutes, which is more than enough time for me to finish my work and do other things. And it also had more features before I was ready to shut down for the night. To which I would respond, touche. So in the future, I'm gonna go ahead and buy another CyberPower 1500 PFC LCD Ups and I'm gonna use that for my server because it has the longevity I'm looking for and it has a nifty little feature that shows me the amount of wattage the server is currently using at any given time if I so choose. And then the rack mount ups will actually be dedicated to my modem, switch, and router. So you can find links in the video description below for all the stuff I'm gonna buy and currently own. And on that note, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.